There are so many people here videoing and taking photos. It's spectacular. Um, I'm just walking up and down all the time just to get a view of these beautiful uh, blossoms. When you look at the three different types of masters that we run in the school at the moment, the MA in healthcare practice, MSc advanced clinical practice, and the MSc interprofessional healthcare simulation, you'll notice that chapters one, four, and five are written similarly across all programs. Chapter one for all of you is the introduction. It's an introduction to your topic and then narrowing down to show how you're taking that wider topic area and turning it into uh, this particular project. So it's introducing your project. You're also covering your aim, outcomes, um, rationale for why you're choosing to do this and the manner in which you're choosing it. Um, and then as you progress through that chapter, you're introducing the rest of the dissertation so that the reader knows what's going to follow in the subsequent chapters. And then um, after doing that, give a good summary to the chapter and a conclusion. And in your conclusion, you springboard into your next chapter. The difference across the various dissertations comes with your chapters two and three. So uh, basically there's the extended literature review version of the project and there are all the other projects which could be the audit or service evaluation, change management and on the interprofessional healthcare simulation there's also the option to create something to do with simulation and then to partially write that up as a publication. So when you're thinking about chapter four, it's important to realize that this is going to be written in a similar way across all the various master's uh, dissertations. Okay, so the difference for the, um, the various dissertations, if you check the image that I've produced in this learning resource for Unit 4, you will see that chapters 1, 4 and 5 are the same, but where there's a difference uh, will be in chapters 2 and 3. They're flipped around all according to which type of dissertation you're doing. If you're doing the extended literature review, then chapter two is your methods chapter and chapter three is the, the critique of your data. Whereas with the other types of dissertations, those two chapters are flipped. Chapter two will be uh, the literature search and review, and that has to be contained within a short amount of words. And then chapter three is going to be your methods chapter, and where you start outlining some of the results of what you're finding. But then you explore those deeper and critically analyze them and draw out the implications, the synthesis. You do that in your later chapter. Okay, so chapter one, general introduction for you all. Chapters two and three are um, slightly different depending on which type of dissertation you're doing. And then you're all back together for doing your chapter four and chapter five.